Hey guys, it's Ron. So I had a question recently about uh, using the command passive interface. You know, where should I use it? Why should I use it? Uh, and what does it give me? Uh, so basically, I uh, put together a quick little lab. I've got a hub in the middle uh, that terminates three connections uh, to my spokes and then has a couple of hosts of its own. So on one spoke we're running RIP, on the other spoke we're running EIGRP, and on the last spoke we're running OSPF. So I just wanted to give you a feel for what the different routing protocols do uh, when you enable or disable a uh, passive interface. So right now everything is at default, uh, meaning all of the interfaces uh, are uh, have been configured, all the protocols have been configured, but I haven't turned passive interface on anything. So if I click through here what I'll see is I'm going to send EIGRP packets out periodically. Uh, these are hello announcements but also notice I send EIGRP packets out an interface that has no EIGRP neighbors. And the reason it does that is because I want to advertise this network into EIGRP. And I do that with the network command. But in doing that I also open this up this interface up to send out hello messages. Okay? Now I don't want to do that because I know there are no EIGRP routers down here and I don't want these hosts to get you know information about the inner workings of my network. So I'm going to disable uh, I'm going to want to disable uh, that feature but by default I'm going to be sending EIGRP packets out this interface. And if I keep watching long enough, there I send an OSPF packet. Uh, there's some more EIGRP packets, more EIGRP packets, an OSPF packet, and now I'm sending OSPF down here as well. So by enabling uh, this network to be advertised into OSPF, I also open it up for OSPF uh, hello messages. Now if I click long enough, what I'll end up seeing is that RIP uh, does the same thing. But remember, uh, these are real quick hello messages that OSPF and EIGRP are sending. But RIP, uh, depending upon the size of the network, it's going to send uh, its entire routing table. So here I'm sending a RIP version 2 packet uh, to my hub. And eventually my hub, uh, because it's going to do it every 30 seconds, it's going to send uh, OSPF uh, packets. There we go. We get our first set of OSPF packets out this interface. So not only do my hosts get to see RIP announcements, they, they're going to get to see the entire uh, RIP table, which I don't need them seeing. Right? They should only know how to get to their gateway, and that's about all they should care about. So what I want to do is go in and I'll start playing around with passive interfaces and see how that affects the rest of my protocols. So I'm going to turn uh, that mode off. We'll kind of jump into it. If I do a do show IP route, I have routes from EIGRP, which is labeled as dual. I have routes from RIP, and I ha also have a route from OSPF. All right. So I'm going to start with EIGRP and we'll, we'll see what happens. So if I go into router EIGRP1, I'm just going to do a passive interface default. Now if I do a show IP EIGRP neighbor, how about a do show IP EIGRP neighbor, what I'll find is the hold time is going to slowly drop until, bam, I lose my neighbor relationship. Okay, I need uh, EIGRP needs to see these periodic hello messages, or it doesn't reset the hold timer. And if it if the hold timer gets to zero, I trash my uh, relationship. Okay, now what are the the third order effects of that? Well, if I do a show IP route, do show IP route, I lost my EIGRP route as I would expect. Equally. On my EIGRP router, it loses all of its routes as well. Okay, so anything that I was getting from the hub, I've lost. So what I want to do, so I built 
I was building a neighbor relationship on serial 000. I'm going to go back in and do a no passive interface serial 000. And immediately I send out uh, a hello packet and build a neighbor relationship. If I do a do show IP route, I will see that I now have my EIGRP route again. And I'll see the same thing on the other EIGRP router. If I do a do show IP protocols, so let's see, EIGRP1, passive interfaces. All of my interfaces, except for that serial 000, are passive, which means I will not send all of these hello packets out these interfaces. So even though I will advertise networks that I, I, I put into EIGRP, I'm only going to send those out this one interface. Okay? So no long, these hosts will no longer see EIGRP hellos. Okay? Now if I get back in it, we'll do the same thing for OSPF. Router OSPF1. Passive interface default. Alright? Immediately my neighbor relationship goes down. Okay? And I'd have to try that on a, on a real router. Uh, but for at least for Packtracer, it's an immediate thing. My I, I cut my neighbor relationship as soon as I turned that into a passive interface. If I do a to show IP route, I've lost my OSPF route do show IP protocols all my interfaces uh, let's see that's rip uh, now we're to OSPF so OSPF is also the same thing every every interface goes default or goes passive if I go over to my OSPF router I don't have any OSPF routes Okay, and that's what I would expect because every interface is passive right now. So I'll do no passive interface serial 0 slash 1 slash uh, 0. And eventually, I mean, OSPF's a little bit slower, but eventually I should see myself build. There it goes. So I build a, an OSPF relationship. Do show IP route. I have my OSPF route back. But just like EIGRP, so OSPF, I'm no longer going to send hello announcements out any of these interfaces. Okay? I'm only sending them out that serial 010 interface, which is what I want because that's the only OSPF router out there. Okay? And I should have gotten my OSPF route back. Now I'm not doing redistribution so you won't see a ton of routes but if I do a show IP route I've got my one route that I'm sending into OSPF which is my hosts hanging down here. Okay? So that's the functionality we would expect. Now I left RIP for last for a reason. And that's because Passive interface default. That's because RIP doesn't build neighbor relationships. So if we look at the RIP route that's in here, we'll notice that it was, we learned about it 12 seconds ago. Now we learned about it 21 seconds ago, 25 seconds ago, 28 seconds ago, now 2 seconds ago. So what's happening? Well, even though we told it every interface is passive, you're not going to send out any announcements out these interfaces, RIP still receives those announcements and processes them. Okay? So even though we're not sending anything, we're going to process RIP packets that we get from elsewhere. So if we look on our spoke, though, We have a rip route, and notice it's getting old. 
It's over a minute old. And by default, RIP sends announcements every 30 seconds. So eventually, eventually this route will go away. Okay? I think it's uh, after 180 seconds, it should go away. Okay? So I'm not going to wait around for that, but eventually this route will go away. So even though the hub will know about the routes hanging off of this router, this router won't know about any of the rest of the routes. Okay? So we're going to do the same exact thing we did for all the other ones. No passive interface. Serial 001. So now we should be sending uh, e or not EIGP, RIP packets out this interface. So if we look over here, show IP route, notice we just got a RIP packet in. Okay? So it's resetting just like it's supposed to. But if I go back into simulation mode, what you'll find is that we shouldn't send a single routing packet out this interface. Okay? Because we're running passive interface default. And the only places that we told it was no passive was where we wanted it. For EIGRP, we told it this interface was no passive. For OSPF, we told it this interface was no passive. And vice versa, this is no passive for RIP. Okay? But we should never see any routing packets go out that interface. And that's the kind of functionality you want in your network. Uh, I wouldn't send routing packets to my hosts down here uh, because that, that's a security concern. And again, it's, it's a waste of bandwidth. So I hope you got something out of it. I hope you saw some of the functionality. Passive, passive interfaces are very easy to use. Um, but you just have to, to know, hey, by default, me personally, I go passive interface default. And then I go back in and do a no passive on those interfaces that I want. Okay, And that's going to give me the functionality. Uh, and it gives me a little bit better security. So again, hope you got something uh, out of the lab, and uh, thanks for watching.